So a uh, big topic for us is roll-up because we process a lot of events. We're currently doing around 2 million events per second and we keep around 2 trillion events in the, uh, in the data store before it automatically ages out and unloads. So we do uh, 175 billion events a day or thereabouts. So roll-up is really important for us and I'll try and explain why. So in this contrived example here, we have our dimensions and our metrics. So we, can, we keep a query granularity of one minute, which means that any two events arriving in the same minute with identical dimensions can be compressed into a single row. So in this example, I've tried to color coordinate things that are similar. We have the, the blue rows here have identical dimensions, TV and US, and they arrive in the same minute so they can be compressed. So in this, ca in this case, we can add the, the metrics together into one row and then we'll increment the count. This happens automatically for us during ingestion time. So the resulting uh, table here get, goes from our seven rows into five rows. And the reason we don't roll this yellow row with the green row is because it's in a different minute bucket. So rollup is kind of important. You've got millions of events arriving per second. If we had no rollup whatsoever, then the queries would have to aggregate across all of those rows and be somewhat slow, I would imagine, or require a lot of hardware. So cardinality, um, people said it's a feature and it certainly can be because you get to be more granular about what you're slicing by if you have higher cardinality perhaps. So in this example, it is the, the count for the size of unique values within the set of values in the dimension. So for, for the sample here, we have these values in the device dimension, cardinality is therefore three and the country is two, which seems fine. Um, if you have every possible combination in this data set, you're going to have six different rows. Yeah. Okay, great. We can handle that. Um, however, if you're talking about having tens of dimensions with cardinalities in the thousands, then you very quickly get into ridiculous numbers. I mean, this is going to be a worst case scenario. And, uh, this is having every possible value of every possible dimension, which is very unlikely, especially as you're getting into the septendicillion amounts of numbers here. I had to look up what the name was for the 10 to the 54, but you can very quickly get into these ridiculous numbers if you don't manage the cardinality or manage the correlation between the columns. So um, while it is an asset, it's also certainly something that you need to watch out for because it can explode and ruin your rollup into effectively no rollup whatsoever. And therefore, um, make your queries very, very slow. So quickly revising some segments. Segments are groupings of rows that belong to a given time chunk. In our case, we use a time chunk of one hour. So that means that a segment will remain within our real time node for up to an hour and only contain events that arrived within that time period have a timestamp within that time period more accurately. Um, so you can have many time, many segments per time chunk, which is what we have. We can control these to, to be around 5 million rows, which gives us the, the size within the, the target there of, um, I think the recommendation is 300 to 700 megabytes. And I think we, depending on what data source we're in, they're, they're around that. And I don't think they exceed that. 